Hello beautiful humans, my name is Kayla Collier and welcome to my YouTube channel where I spread love and positivity by showing you the journey through my life. Welcome to Grandma's Kitchen. <laughs> I just got back from Aldi's and I want to show you guys an Aldi haul. So, we'll start with bag number one, red grapes. I've been obsessed with red grapes. They're like a good little sweet thing for me to eat at the end of the day. Love it. Then I got some raspberries. I'm actually going to freeze them and then I found like a dairy-free, gluten-free dessert that I'm going to try with the raspberries and strawberries. So I got the strawberries because I actually am trying chia seed pudding. Literally, it's just chia seeds and almond milk. And so I want to start topping it with some yummy fruit. I just got some salad mix because... I get the big box of stuff and then it ends up going bad and so I just got a little baggie this time. I got some rice for Zach. This is literally his favorite rice in the world. It is called Earthly Grains Ready to Serve Rice. Literally, you pop it in for 90 seconds and it's ready to go. So, so I got, I think, yeah, I got three bags of that. So... I need more fish in my life because they contain really good stuff for you. That's all I have to say about that. So I got some jumbo shrimp. Black olives. I love putting these on my salads. They're so good. And then I got some blueberries. Lots of fruit here, people. I am obsessed with fruit. And then we got some crispy chicken strips. These are Zach's as well. I can't have them. Let's see what's in them, actually. Check your ingredients on everything. Stuff you don't think would have sugar has sugar. Stuff you don't think that would have dairy has dairy. There's your first bag. And then I have some oranges. I really like the tiny ones. They're my favorite. I'll have two of them with lunch. Or I actually make this salmon glaze type thing salmon topping salmon whatever you call it whatever you soak it in I can't think of the word but anyways you do honey amino acids oranges and salt and you let it soak in there for a little bit it's delicious it's the literally the only way that I eat my salmon and then I put it on the grill and I grill it I have some salsa. This is the margarita mild. I don't like hot stuff, so I always get mild everything. And then I have ghee. So ghee has been a topic for a while. It is clarified butter. So it's free of lactose, gluten, casein, and sodium. So all the stuff I can't have, it's free of. So I'm gonna try this for a butter substitute. I have some purple, red onion, whatever you want to call it. I love these on top of my salads. It gives me horrible, horrible onion breath, but I love them. And then I just got yellow onions to put in everything else because onions like makes all of your food better. And then I got these bag of apples. Then I have yellow potatoes. Actually it says, Honey gold, bite-sized potatoes. I got these. I don't think that I eat enough breakfast. So I just reintroduced eating breakfast and I don't think I eat enough for breakfast. I usually eat just like a couple eggs and a banana, but I think I need to add more stuff in there. So I'm gonna start making these into like hash browns or just cutting them up and putting them in the air fryer because air fryer everything is delish. So there's these and I've been wanting, like, I think I looked up a recipe on Pinterest yesterday 
that was enchiladas or tacos or something rather. But these are corn tortillas, which I think I can have. I looked at all the ingredients and there was nothing that I don't think I can have. Yeah, everything checks out. So I'm going to start having these either with just like tacos or like fajita mix with peppers and steak or something. But I'm excited for this. And that's bag number two. And of course it's my bag from Ross because that's my other love of a store. So all the find of the day are these wire baskets. I have been looking for wire baskets probably for two weeks now. I've been going to antique stores. I actually wanted like the big ones to set like pillows in, but these will be so cute for fall. Like I'm so excited about it. So these are what these look like. I think they were $7. So I'm excited to spice this up and make a little decor piece in the bottom of grandma's basement. Okay, so now it's time for the meat. Yes, meat. So 100% grass-fed ground beef by Simply Nature. You look at the ingredients, the only thing is organic ground beef. That's a good sign when you have one to two ingredients. That's what you want. So 85% lean, 50% fat, non-GMO, no hormones, no antibiotics, no none of that. So that's what I get, love it. And then I picked up these organic chicken breasts also by Simply Nature. They are free range, boneless, skinless chicken breast. And they're the same thing, no, no hormones, no added, nothing. So that's what these look like. And I picked up two because Zach says he's going to start, try to start eating healthy with me, but we'll see. So, oh, and then I have one more thing. I buy these organic cage-free eggs and they're also by Simply Nature. It's like the brand at Aldi's. So this is what they look like. And then my other favorites, right now have been bananas. I'm obsessed with bananas, but we already have bananas here. We already had sweet potatoes here. I absolutely love sweet potatoes. And yeah, that's it. So this was my grocery haul from Aldi's. Bam. And one thing I do actually like to do whenever I get home and get all my groceries like out on the counter, I will immediately put them away. But some of the stuff that I'll do is I could like cut up these strawberries. I'm going to, of course, put the raspberries um, in the freezer so they're frozen for my recipe. I will like go ahead and meal prep these little guys right here. And oh, I will cook my meat and put it in the freezer so it's already cooked and I can just take it out and heat it up. And then I am actually gonna put this chicken in the crock pot because I have a crock pot recipe that I really want to do. And that way I can put like this, I can shred it up with a fork at the end and then put it on top of my salads as a protein. So we'll get to it. stuff here to throw in the crock pot so I can make that chicken to put on top of my salads because salad is my all-time favorite lunch meal because you can dress it up and do it however you please so I'm going to make that chicken now all right get you some of these if you don't already have them because they're a lifesaver you know you just throw the mess in the trash can and the cleaning is done okay so I decided to only do half of an onion so this is also from Aldi's Happy Harvest Diced Tomatoes. It is the fire roasted with seasoning, but you know how I don't like fire roasted? This isn't really spicy. It's just filled with goodness and spices. And it says some minced garlic. This is just from Walmart, the great value kind. And again, I'm just gonna kinda do what I think, but I love garlic, so maybe two spoonfuls. One and a half. We'll do a half. 
And then we're gonna do one fourth cup of honey. So the good thing about my honey is this lady at work actually has her own bee. So this is fresh, which it is so good. So one fourth cup of honey. tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil which of course you see that simply nature so it is the Aldi brand teaspoon of oregano leaves and then half a teaspoon of parsley and half a teaspoon of salt but I love to use the pink Himalayan salt and then one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, that's it. So I'm gonna mix it up and then throw the chicken in there. And there you have it. It's gonna cook for four to six hours and then I will shred it up with the fork and it will be good to go. Okay, so since we have our chicken cooking over here, we're gonna hop over here and make the salad dressing. Okay, so these are the ingredients I use for my homemade salad dressing. It's just one cup of pure virgin olive oil, a half fresh squeezed lemon, one teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt, and three to four cloves of fresh garlic. You blend it up and you're good to go. Okay, so I am outside eating my lunch. I finally got around to it and I'm so dang happy because <laughs> Food makes me happy. Anywho, I am so excited that you guys watch this video and please, please, please let me know what you want to see next. I want to do some like really fun videos and just know what you guys want to see. So please comment below what you guys want to see from me next. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to support your girl and make sure you click subscribe so you never miss a video with more. Hi, are you hungry? You want some salad? Here, let's give you a piece of chicken. You want a piece of chicken? Oh, okay. See you later. Take the food and run. Yep, I know how that goes.